knows no pain. It knows only heartache. It knows no gain. There's nothing left to take. Only coldness. Only sadness. Only darkness. Only a void. No more. No less. Through it, blood will flow. Through it, blood will be fed. For only blood will sustain its soul. For the void of love, it is truly dead. It was either this or a chug a gallon of holy water blessed by the Pope. Unfortunately, he's rather hard to reach at night, and the Vatican doesn't do house calls, especially to us. Merlin, it has been a long time since I've embraced the sun, seen a sunrise with my own eyes. It would be a good thing to see, even for one last time, ever. My Lord Pendragon, it is not too late. Just say the word and I can get you a nice, fresh young body from the dungeon. We can spend the morning pretending things can be as they once were. But they're not how they once were, are they? I was looking forward to this new millennium and the promises it held. And then things changed. Things didn't change much, my lord. Perhaps you did. I didn't change. I didn't decide to walk a different path. I didn't choose to make changes in my own life. I didn't choose to explore you, new things, and I... You didn't choose to go mortal, as she did. I am so sorry, my lord, but you did accept the decision. You even went so far as to encourage this. Thinking that it would only be temporary, <laughs> that it was a passing thing. But it wasn't. And here we are, waiting for the sun to come up, and burn me out of this wretched existence and into one where I won't find and feel pain ever again. You know, then shut it. Don't you know the sun is coming up soon? What's wrong with you? Oh, yes, Lady Gwen. I am quite so aware of that. Try telling him that. Gwen, if you do not wish to join me in getting a lot more than a suntan, you will leave this Father? instant. Father? Not without you, I won't. Oh, and why not? You cannot do this! You can't let him do this! Why not? I've lived more lifetimes than most mortals care to imagine. Had my way with more than my share of willing and unwilling women. Built up a body count bigger than Schwarzenegger, Stallone, and a few hundred serial killers combined and ruled enough cities to form a country. I believe I've covered enough territory as far as living is concerned. But, but to end your eternal existence like this just because of some, some whore? She's a whore! She's not worth this! Tell him, Merlin! Because I have finally seen and realized 
justice. What I regret this very night. Sire, please listen to your child. It is not too late to rectify any of this despite her demeanor. That's right. I have seen it for what it is, and it is because that I cannot go on. Lord, 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 Father, Lord, Father, Pendragon, please, it is within your great power, your great power, you are the greatest! It is no longer within my power. Perhaps if there was still time to do something, but even one as powerful as myself cannot go against, against. My father, my father, have you allowed yourself to get so wrapped up in this shroud of sadness and nonsense and bullshit that you can't just see this for what it is and, and just go on? It is because of this that I cannot go on. There's always, always something to go on for. Not in this case. The deed is done. The die is cast. My path is before me. and be well. There are always options. You've taught all of us that you could use, use anyone, anyone or, or anything. As a matter of fact, you could, you could use a stake. If, if you so wish it, Father, I'll do the deed myself. You will do no such myself. thing! <laughs> Father. Forgive me. The song is about to rock. Only out of respect, only out of respect. Sire. Well, at least I didn't get a tear for farewell. Merlin, how long until the sun rises? Not long, my lord. Good. You know I was going to leave word to stake anyone that tried to stop me, but considering how large this clan is, we probably would have run out of stakes by now. The clan will go on. Only I won't. My decision. No space asked for. My choice, not hers. Sire, you must face the facts of the matter. She has chosen to dissolve the bonds of blood of her own free will. I know that. There's no sense in living in denial now. My unlife is about to end. <laughs> Me living in denial. My life is denial. Sire, when the hell is that sun coming up? Sire, you could have had that mundane drained and diced up six ways till Sunday without bearing a thing. Yet you let him live. You had the power to kill him, yet you stayed your hand. Why? Why? After all of these centuries of serving me and knowing how I fought and connived throughout history, you ask why. It is a simple enough question. And the answer is just as simple. Because of love. Don't look so shocked, mortal. <laughs> I know you're not one of us, Merlin, but even a vampire such as myself can still feel it is true that as we age and grow stronger, we do lose some of our humanity. But such is the case with favorite blood mates and children, we gain a reason for living. Such was the case with Morgan. When she finally sought me out and became my blood mate, on beyond with us was so strong, I thought it would be unbreakable. We lived in love for the better part of 250 years. I thought this was a simple dalliance, that she was playing with her 
food like a naughty little girl. Never have I felt so wrong. So wrong! Sire, you couldn't have known. It is my right to know. It is the exclusive gift of Clan Avalon to know such matters and resolve them to the benefit of the Dark Realm and our clan at large. But had I truly seen where this would end up, that mortal would have been dead at my feet. As surely as thought would become thee, Father. <coughs> Wayne, you should not be here. And you should not be here either. Judging from what I have just heard, this is wrong! Your immortal life is not worth throwing away. Not for her and certainly not for that mundane. I have not heard enough. I have no qualms about this mortal of hers. Let me find him and I will drain him myself. And then she would know. You forget the rapport that you share with Morgan is like that within all of our clan. She would know your thoughts, your actions, your deeds, as she would know my own, and she would hate me still. I cannot accept that. I cannot even accept this. Shouldn't you know 
Morgan, couldn't you know? It was your actions, your choices that brought you to this. No, I, I just couldn't see things as you did. I, I saw things in a different light. I wanted to, to make things new and different. I was a selfish bitch. I'm so sorry, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> and therein the problem lies. I have given you everything that I have. My life. No. My blood. I know. I know. My love. <laughs> and you couldn't see. <laughs> I, I just couldn't see as you could, my love. I just couldn't see as you could. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this, Malin. Tell him. Tell him. My time with him is over now. My mortal love is dead. He's Your gone. Love. He's gone. I'm sorry. My time is over with him now. I'm yours. I'm yours eternally. I'm yours. I'm yours. Please. Until you again. No. I have nothing left for you. Not at all. While I had your love, I thought nothing was unattainable. I thought all bonds of blood and love continue for all time. I gave you all. I know you can't do this. I can change. I can't fight for someone that won't have me. My love, come back from this, my no. love. Please, no. I beg you, I beg you. It's your choice, and I had to live with it. And now I make mine. I will do anything you ask, anything, anything. I will do anything. No. No, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Choices until well after the deed is done. No. <laughs> 